Hello everyone, welcome to a new program from TV Ray Studio. We thank God for today, we thank God for a good weather, we thank God for our life. On this program, we want to pray. And the reason why we choose this program is to encourage each and every one of us to encourage our prayer life, to table our needs before God in the areas of prayer. We want to encourage ourselves to pray to get better. And I, to start with, I want to correct this common saying that we grew up to know that prayer is the master key. I want to say prayer is not the master key but prayer is one of the keys that we need but obedience to god's word obedience to his commandment is the master key at times when we are going through situation god will need us to keep quiet at times all what we need is just for us to seek godly counseling so obedience to god's word is the master key. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 says, If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall hear the good of the land. So obedience to God's word, obedience to his commandment is the master key. So I wouldn't want us to pray and miss today. That is why I'm trying to encourage us that obedience to his word. If there is one thing that God is telling you to do and you are not doing it, I will hold you to 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 obey god's word and i pray that god the the holy spirit that guides us to all truth we guide each and every one of us so on today's program to start with we want to pray for families yeah we want to pray for our families we want to pray for people around us and likewise on this program we'll be praying for our friends we'll be, we'll be praying for the church of christ We'll be praying for the pregnant women. We'll be praying for the nation, all kind of prayer. We just want to encourage our prayer life. So today, to start with, we want to pray for families. Yes, we want to pray for our families. I want to pray for my family. You should pray for your family as well. And to start with, we want to thank God for our family. Let us begin to thank God for our family my father my god i thank you for my family let us thank god for his peace that is reigning in our family father we thank you for your peace that is reigning in our family in the lives of our children in the lives of our husband in the lives of our wife we thank you for your peace oh god thank you ancient of days for your peace that is reigning in our lives thank you for your peace oh god that is reigning in our home thank you for harmony psalm 1 2 4 verse 1 says if it has not been the Lord who was on our side, if it has not been the Lord who was on our side, the challenges, the situation of life will have swallowed us up. But we thank God for his strength that is always there to uphold us. Concerning my family, Father, I am saying thank you. Thank you for not allowing the challenges of life to swallow us up. Thank you for your peace, O oh God, that is reigning. Your peace that passes every human understanding that is reigning in the lives of my family. I thank you, O oh God, for your peace. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your harmony. Thank you, Jesus, for your peace. If it has not been the Lord who was on our side, the challenges and situation of life will have swallowed us up. But we thank God for his peace, for his strength that is always there to uphold us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for today. Thank you for a good weather that we have. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our husband. Thank you for our friends, our relative far and near. Thank you for your peace, oh God. We thank you, ancient of days. We worship you. We say, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Be thou magnified in the mighty name of Jesus. Accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let us begin to pray for parents. Pray for yourself as a parent. Pray for yourself as a mother. The Father, the resources I need, most especially the wisdom I need to train my children in the way they should go. My Father, my God, bestow it upon my life in the name of Jesus. I pray for myself as parent. I pray for my husband. My Father, my 
God, the resources we need, oh God, the wisdom we need, let it be released upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Bless us, oh God, beyond our imagination. Bless us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. The resources we need to cater for our children. My Father, my God, you will provide for us in the mighty name of Jesus. The wisdom we need, oh God, to train these children in the way that they should go so that when they grow up, they will not depart from it. My Father, my God, you will bestow it upon us as parents in the name of Jesus. We will not work, we will not labor in vain. The book of Isaiah 65 verse 22 says, No longer will they build houses for others to inhabit in the mighty name of Jesus, nor plant for others to eat. For as is the lifetime of a tree, so will be the days of my people. And my chosen one will fully enjoy the work of their hands. So shall it be to me in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be to every parent that I labor consigning their children you will not labor in vain sickness will not be our portion death will not be our portion the Lord will give us strength that we need to train our children in the mighty name of Jesus we will not be sick we will not die in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord will bless the works of our hands in the mighty name of Jesus so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus we will not labor in vain consigning our children in the mighty name of Jesus Lastly, we are going to pray for our children. We will commit them into the hands of the Lord. the Lord. The Lord will watch over our children. As these children are growing, they will grow in the knowledge of Christ. They will grow to know God. They will grow to love Him. They will grow to serve Him all the days of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I commit my children unto your able O God. You will give them the grace to know you and as they are knowing you oh god they will love you as they are loving you they will serve you all the days of of their lives in the mighty name of jesus our children will grow in the knowledge of christ in the mighty name of jesus you will order the steps of our children in the mighty name of jesus they will not come in contact with negative people in the mighty name of jesus you will order their steps you will watch them as they go to their school you will watch them on their way back from school in the mighty name of jesus no evil will befall our children in the mighty name of jesus sickness death will not be their portion we will not be sorrowful over our children we will not weep over our children in the mighty name of jesus as a family my father my god our joy will be full in you in the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Every prayer point that we've tabled before your feet today, my Father, my God, you will be answered by fire. We will not be sorrowful over anyone in our family, be it our husband, be it our wives, be it our children. Your peace will continue to reign in every family in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 We have some prayer points here. There are some people that want us to pray for them. This one is coming from, from a, okay, it's coming from one Mrs. Mabuza. She wants us to pray for, us, for her and her kids for God's peace to continue to reign in our home. So therefore, let us pray together for Mabuza and our kids that God will be their guide, God will be their shield in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord will reign in your home, it will reign in your life. Mabuza, you and your kids, you will be for signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will guide you, the Lord will protect you, no evil will be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Another one is from a brother, Fred Dick. He needs help from God. And we pray today every help that you need, the Lord will provide. Be it financial, be it physical help, be it spiritual help, the Lord will give unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. And the last one, but not the least, is David. David wants us to pray for his family for financial breakthrough. We pray for you, David. 
uh, we pray for you and your family. The Lord will provide for you. The Lord will be your shield in the mighty name of Jesus. And likewise, He wants us to cancel every demonic plans, every demonic bondage concerning Him and His household. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself. I stand on the authority which is Jesus. And I decree every demonic bondage concerning your life, concerning your family is broken now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demonic arrow of the enemy concerning your life, concerning your family is broken in the name of Jesus. Begin to experience the peace of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit fill you and guide you into his word in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. It is well with you. You are broken. You are set free from every bondage of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this prayer session. And we know that this prayer is answered in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to encourage our viewers at home, if you have one prayer request or you have anything that you want us to pray about, kindly send your prayer request to TV production and the Facebook page is Ray Africa. You can send us a private message and please kindly be specific with your prayer request because we don't want to pray and miss and let us know where you are sending this prayer request from and together we can pray together. And the God who sits in heaven and rules the affairs of men will surely answer every prayer that we pray on this program. Remain blessed. God bless you.